Hey everybody, it's Modern Native. So, first off, sorry we haven't been making content like that, and uh, sorry we haven't been able to live stream or anything. I'm pretty sure we might have caught COVID or something from a friend. Uh, not sure, but we've been sick for like a week straight, like dying sick, coughing up our lungs, and uh, barely able to move to get firewood to stay warm enough, which it's like a double-edged sword, you need to get warm enough to feel better but you got to go out in the cold to get firewood to be able to get you know warmer so it's it's been a battle and we feel like shit so i wanted to do a quick little update let you guys know about that might drop a motivational comment or hear some shit like that stay tuned yeah neither one <laughs> he comes to his cubby hole neither one of us have felt good so we've been trying to do what we can and the boys have been not feeling great either. Creature's just restless today. But, yeah. It sucks when you're sick and you're out here, but, you know, it's part of it. It's part of life. And it was unexpected. <coughs> Somebody had a illness, a sickness, and something they didn't realize. And I caught it and brought it home to her. Or she caught it and brought it home to me. But I don't know. I was sick first. So, mm -hmm. who knows. <coughs> you can hear it on my other videos. I had a bad cough a bit in one of them. But. <laughs> Wheezy. What's up, monster? Who's my boy? Yeah. No, I love you too. You're so sweet. Mm -hmm. He's a pain in the ass. He's been cuddling his mummy to try to keep her warm and make her feel better. He hates when she's sick. <laughs> so, for the record, that's not water droplets. Those are holes. And you can't even really say that it's because of where, how how tall the pipe is, because it is all the way down. So this material is not fire retardant whatsoever, which is actually quite upsetting. So I need to find a way to get up some funds to be able to get this fireproofing spray. And hopefully I can coat it enough to actually, you know, it's like the head of a pin, a pen, I should say. Like a ballpoint pen got stabbed through there and didn't go all the way to the width. So, kind of sucks, but it's actually quite disappointing. But that's one of those things you just got to adapt and try to figure out uh, something to do to overcome the issue and actually be able to make it work. Right now, I have to be really careful with it. We don't let it burn or spark too much. As much as we can, we try to Tap the side to keep the spark from sitting on one spot if we see one, but it happens so fast that you don't even realize it sometimes. And I try to make sure I put the longest burning log over by the hole so that way it stops some of the sparks from going up. It's a bunch of different methods and things to try to minimize that, but it's it shouldn't be doing it in the first place. That material should be fire resistant at the very least. So... There's always a way to adapt or overcome whenever it comes to uh, an issue or, or a problem in the field. So if you're out here, just try to take a breath and think about a solution because there always is one. You can make one, you can find one, or you can just, um, I want to say suffer through it, but more like adapt your comfortability to the situation. You don't always need everything that you think you do to be comfortable. You don't always need every amenity. So sometimes you got to make do with what you got. Alrighty, everybody. Until next time, get out there, be a native. Go, Go beast. beast.